The overall goal of this procedure is to use positron emission tomography magnetic resonance or PET MR scans for the staging and restaging of cancer in children. PET MRI can help diagnose the primary tumor and the degree of metastasis to assign appropriate treatment protocol and to determine the tumor response to the treatment. The main advantage of the PET MRI scan is that it allows the evaluation of the primary tumor and the whole body in one session with markedly reduced radiation exposure compared to a PET-CT scan. One to two hours before the scan, infuse ferromoxetyl diluted in saline at a 1 to 4 ratio intravenously into the patient over at least 15 minutes according to FDA protocols. Alternatively, standard gadolinium-based contrast agent can be administered directly before the start of the PET MRI scan. This means after the localizers and directly before starting the integrated PET MRI scan. 45 minutes before the scan, check the patient's blood glucose levels. If the patient's blood glucose levels are below 200 mg per deciliter, administer radio-labeled 2-deoxy-2-fluoro-D-glucose in 1 ml of saline. If the patient's blood glucose levels are above 200 mg per deciliter, consider rescheduling the PET MRI scan. At the time of the scan, position the patient in the supine position on the PET MR table of a 3 Tesla integrated PET MRI system bundled with MP24 software. If the patient cannot lay supine, scan the head supine and the whole body in the prone position. For very long patients.